The problem with martial arts is very simple. Any pretentious person, in the entire world, can call themselves a master, and even a grandmaster. Because there are no regulations governing martial arts. Meaning, even though a man has never fought, he can call himself a master of fighting, and open a martial arts school. Embarrassingly, 95% of martial arts schools are being run by men who haven't been in a fight since middle school. Seriously, these grossly out of shape men pretend to be fighters, but don't have any video of them fighting. And most of these so-called masters are lacking even a video of them sparring. These 8th degree fat bouts would not last even one minute in a fight. These fake fighters usually have a piece of paper on the wall from some person they paid to give them a certificate. These certificates are worthless because there is no set standard in martial arts. Meaning, I could print a certificate for you and say that you are a 5th degree black belt and no one would know any different because martial arts is not regulated by anyone. But even with regulation, certificates alone are simply not proof of fighting ability. And because of this fact, real regulation would absolutely require video evidence as the golden rule. Just imagine if I claim to be a master painter, but instead of painting a picture, I instead show you my certificate that says I can paint. Wouldn't it be crazy if Van Gogh was only considered a master painter because of a certificate that claimed his artistry? In other words, would we consider Van Gogh a great painter if he had no paintings? As I stated, 95% of martial arts schools are being run by complete fakes. But the other 5% are very violent. Many of these violent schools not only have videos of teachers in fights, but even children in full contact fighting. And to these violent schools, I have one thing to say. How absolutely shameful. You're a bunch of violent people, teaching violence to kids. You must be very proud of yourselves, to spend your lives spreading violence to children. While trying to deceive parents, selling them a fantasy, that fighting, is somehow not violent. Now, I have a question for you 95% fake schools, who claim to be fighters with no evidence. Did you previously think that your grandmaster was a fighter because he told you that he was? Or because he has a piece of paper on the wall claiming that he is descended from dragons? Of course, your master told you fantasy stories about winning many fights. Fights that no one has ever seen, that don't exist on video, and are only stories. In other words, why would you pay $150 a month to learn fighting from a person who has never fought? You would consider it crazy if I told you that I was the best painter in the world and then showed you absolutely no paintings. Can I teach you to be a great painter if I've never painted? Sure, I could give you an idea of how to paint, but if I've never painted, then I don't know how to mix colors or use the brush at angles and how to make trees appear with snow and a little bit of shadow. But anyways, I'm sure you enjoy mowing your master's lawn? And doing your master's chores? I'm sure your master will teach you how to be a fighter one day, if he ever learns how to fight himself. In the meantime, keep paying $150 a month, and $50 for each colored bout, and those expensive surprise seminars. It pleases your master that you give your money to him so selflessly. How humble of you. How passive and submissive. I'm sure that will help you lose many fights. Because, if you call some man your master, then you have learned the opposite of fighting. Does everyone understand what we are getting at here? That's right. Martial arts is a scam. It's designed to make the student submissive from day one. What could I mean by submissive? Well, if a man asks you to call him master, what kind of relationship do you think you're entering? And seriously, if a man asks you to bow to him, 
and also to his property, while calling him Grandmaster. What kind of trust do you think you're giving? Martial arts schools should be called submission schools because they focus on getting students to act very submissive to the main cult leader. The main goal is to make the student trade their free will for a dance routine sold as fighting ability. The next time you're at martial arts, go ahead and ask your master for video of him fighting. For most of you, your master will disappoint you by telling you that they have no video of them in any fights. But what if your master has a good excuse, such as They couldn't afford a video camera Or perhaps he'll tell you that video cameras didn't exist when he used to fight He might explain to you that he's afraid that video cameras will steal what's left of his soul Or even more dramatic What if your master says I was so fast that the video camera could not pick me up, so I appeared as an apparition and then the videotape would spontaneously combust, from how fast my chi energy was moving. As funny as this is, let's just state the obvious. Without video, without proof, they are only masters of telling lies to your face. What if your master wants to finally prove himself, and says, Okay, I'll fight right now. Go and get your camera, and I'll show you my mastery. And then your master says, but I just remembered, I can't fight right now, because my knees are so weak, from doing years of martial arts faulty exercises. Or even better, your so called master says, I can't fight, because I just remembered, that fighting is against my philosophy. To make this absolutely obvious, what if I tell you, that I'm the best painter in the world, but then I say, that I do not paint, because, painting is against my philosophy and that I don't have any paintings to show you because painting is against my moral code but of course I will continue calling myself a master painter because I have a certificate that says that I am 9th degree painter with a 10th degree black belt in the art of drawing pictures I should inform you that I am a 957th degree quadruple black belt and my certificate says that I am the grandest of all grandmasters. What? You say you don't believe me? I mean, come on. I have a certificate that proves it. My friend printed the certificate just yesterday. It even has the official seal that he got in his cereal box. So, can I sign you up for our black belt program? I can save you money if you pay me right now in full. I'll even give you a double discount, if you simply accept me as your new master, and accept that I'm the master of fighting, with no proof. No thanks, I'd rather throw money into the toilet, that your student just washed. Of course, the inevitable destiny, is for the martial arts teacher, to realize his absolute fakeness. He may be a salesman, but he cannot sell his own lies to himself anymore. He finally comes to the realization that he doesn't know anything about fighting. And so he decides to take seminars from violent teachers. He starts taking classes from the more violent schools and he will now try to attach himself to the most abusive system he can find. And this is very dangerous for society because martial arts schools will gradually become more violent. But obviously, violence is the destiny for any organization that base themselves around fighting. And this is why they try to deceive parents and tell lies about how fighting won't make their kids violent. Which is very similar to telling parents that having kids play in the dirt won't make them get dirty. At this point in history, these weak and insecure martial arts teachers will try to copy the abusive behaviors of the more violent schools. And the tragic result is that now your child is more likely to be introduced into a violent cult system. Violent martial arts schools market themselves as being peaceful. They hide themselves behind banners of peace because they know that their system is the most abusive to students. And martial arts teachers have an absolutely horrific history of abusing their students. 
145 martial arts teachers were guilty of underage sex crimes from 2002 to 2012. Society is starting to discover that martial arts is rotten from the root to its poisonous fruit. It is no mystery why so much abuse takes place since martial arts focuses on making students do so many submissive behaviors. Most martial arts teachers could not watch this whole video without running to the bathroom and losing their lunch. And that's understandable because they have just been exposed as being complete fakes or violent people who are inappropriate for children. So now, I should be very clear about what video evidence is and is not so that no deception is possible. Let's say your so-called master shows you a video which has him throwing students around. Oh my goodness, what a challenge. Students are completely conditioned to be submissive to their master, which means that they have been psyched out. Martial arts students are cooperative opponents who submit as a matter of habit. So now, what if your fake master shows you a video where he is fighting one of his martial arts friends in a tournament? Oh my, how scary. Two grown babies, wearing pajamas, who have both been conditioned in the art of fake foo, are facing each other to earn what are known as points. I remember the last street fight that I was in. My opponent submitted very fast because I told him that I had more points than him. So point tournament videos are not showing fighting ability, but instead, the ability to win points in a game. But now, for the 5% of violent schools who have videos of themselves in brutal fights, who even have kids fighting each other. Stay the heck away from children, you frickin' violent scumbags, and be ashamed for your life's work of violence and blood sport. Like I said before, any organization that focuses on fighting will always end up more violent as time progresses. And any organization that prides itself on being violent will always destroy themselves in the end. Study Patterns thanks you for your time. And may you be free in all your adventures through life.